Welcome back to the new Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Mark Ramon here with Mistress Miriam and Mark Sherry. And you just heard Spooner Well with Maybe You Might Love Me Someday. And before that, we started off with Kari Wurr, There's a Drug. Let's go to Spooner Well, Maybe You Might Love Me Someday. Great Americana rock and I just missed them at the Hardwick Rocks Festival last month. They were the opening act, and I was trying to rush up there to see them because I love this whole album. Why'd you miss it? I stopped at an estate sale. <laughs> Score? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Apparently, the song Maybe You Might Love Me Someday, I guess he never got a chance to find that out because he got offed by his wife. <laughs> In 1778, his wife Bathsheba and her three soldier friends. You know, I think that education is so important in music and, and turning to history. You know, they, they say when you study writing and and any you know write what you know and in songwriting you know you write what you know what's inside of you but there there's something to be said to you know turning to a, a story and and history and and telling someone else's story that's meaningful and I, you know i say take take this into the classroom yeah we can learn a lot from this from this song this whole album headstone marker came out in march of uh, this year and it's a concept album it basically revolves around this whole story of, of mm. uh, a real murder so cool and they're from brookfield mass spooner well mm. and before that there's a drug by Carrie Wurr. Ah, oh, I love this. <laughs> I, I really like that sound. And she's got quite the history, doesn't she, behind her? Oh, I mean, Mark, you've touched my heart. I knew you would love this because this is our era, the 90s. <laughs> First of all, she's such a great sound and stuff. And immediately I was transported back to my senior year of high school, class of 89, Dwight Englewood School. This album came out in 1999. So it has that kind of 90s sound to it. But she, you know, when I read about her, she was on that uh, MTV game show, Remote Control. Yes. I love that show. Came out the year that we graduated from high school. And had such a crush on Carrie. Amazing. This song is great. She also had a, she had a little bit of an acting career. A lot of sequel films. Like Sharknado 2, the second one. <laughs> she was in the first Anaconda, though. The only one. <laughs> the only <laughs> Anaconda film. That was a good one. I like that one. I yeah, she, the Hitchhiker too. She she you know was had an acting career. It's a shame that she didn't you know pursue her music career because she had a really nice sound. This was a great album, and it was produced by Rick Rubin, the great. Oh, and I should, we should note that uh, she's from Brookfield, Connecticut. So what do we got up for for our next plot? A couple of bands I did not miss, or a couple of artists I did not miss at the Hardwick Rocks Festival. We're going to have Reed Brewer, and we're going to start off with Valerie Newman, Seasons Change. <laughs> 